And good morning, Raja Scholars and Champions. Mr. Lawson here on Wednesday morning with some important information for you in a moment. Some really great news for seniors. But first, let's get started with all that's happening. I want to share with you some of the Raja positivity, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence that's happening all around us. Thank you for that, Raja Pride. This week is Classified Appreciation Week. It's a virtual appreciation week. So today I'm asking all of you to help me thank those who provide us with the things we need to be ready to learn and be safe. Our nutrition staff, the health staff, security staff, and the people in risk management that make sure that all of the things we do are safe and taken care of. So take time, send a write, use the sentence frame and write this message. Thank you for doing blank your job, in your job, to support me at Indio High School. Email that or post on social media, or you can go back and do the Monday or Tuesday activities for them. But I want to say thank you for being a part of posting these. I have some to share with you in just a moment. Also, a reminder, I shared this the other night. Tonight at 4 o'clock California time is the Jersey Mike's Athletic Banquet. There's some really great speakers, um, a head basketball coach, um, a professional baseball player and a two-time uh, track Olympic athlete that will be having some special messages. It's a virtual banquet for all of our sports to say, we understand what it's like to lose out on the season right now, but they want to inspire you and motivate you. So tune in and join the athletic banquet. Now for the great job. We came, we chalked, we showed appreciation. Thank you to the staff and students to make sure that we have our essentials. And I have some posts here that some of you did yesterday for thanking staff members. I sure appreciate all you Rajas out there that are being a part of Virtual Classified Week to let these unsung heroes know how much we appreciate the job they do for all of us. And I uh, let's see if I can make this work. Last night on KESQ, I'm going to forward in because there were two athletes that were spotlighted, one from Shadow and one from Indio, and we were on about halfway through. So watch close. Your spotlight is brought to you. Matthew Cruz also hails from the city of Indio. Cruz was a three-sport standout for the Rajah, starring in football, basketball, and baseball. One coach tells me he might be the best natural athlete the school has had since Machado over a decade ago. Cruz says his favorite memory, just being able to create memories before this pandemic happened. Ain't that the truth? He tells me he would describe himself as goofy, especially during practices, but he gets serious when it's time to do so. Cruz is staying local, headed to play baseball, at College of the Desert. Way to go, Matthew. We are so proud of you. And what are they up to? Today I have Mr. Bowman again. And the reason is not only did I have him on before for the really cool things he's doing with social media, but yesterday he also came out to pump up and motivate all of his AP students to do their best on the test. And so he and his family and two boys came with him as well. At, uh, him and his wife passed out meals, a little snack treat uh, to pump up all the students to do their best. So way to go, Mr. Bowman and family. Don't forget from our counselors that our decision day is coming up. Today's the deadline to enter your information, seniors, on this uh, Google form from Mr. Gomez that's in the classroom, uh, Google Classroom for College and Career Counseling Center so that you can be a part of our decision day next week. And some news for our seniors. First of all, I want to tell you, I am so proud. We had about 160 of you turn in your slides on time last night. We have a few today that about 41 that are fixing their slides because we have to remember to follow the guidelines that were in your bag. Those pictures have to follow those guidelines. Remember, even though this is a virtual ceremony and it's not one that we can do in person yet, it's still a ceremony with dignity and respect and honor. And so we want to remember that our picture in our cap and gown needs to convey that. This is not just a fun everyday activity. This is a graduation and we want it to have that dignity and respect that it deserves. But I have good news for you. I had called the company because we were so worried about we'd gotten you extra time with your caps and gowns. And I asked and asked and asked and I was able to get another 36 hours. So I have until noon Thursday instead of today to hit the button to accept and approve all those slides. So 
for those of you that didn't do it, I've got a few extra hours. So as you're watching this tomorrow morning before lunch, you got to have it done. I need to get those in. So please do your slide. Also, don't forget, tune in on Friday night to KESQ and CBS Local 2. They have a salute to the class of 2020. That hour-long program will have a um, each of our school districts featured and our school, some of our students will be speaking. It's at seven o'clock Friday night. You be sure and tune in and watch. It's an hour long broadcast. Desert Sands is 15 minutes of that. CV is 15 minutes. Palm Springs is 15 minutes. Um, we have about 80 pictures of our seniors on there and we have some messages from some of our students. So you want to watch. And congratulations. You voted and your voice was heard and our most inspirational senior this year is Rajaya Alwisha. We have that all over social media because we want you to know how proud we are. Tune into the virtual broadcast because I will be sharing with you as part of my remarks, as I do every year in the graduation, some important special notices about some of you. And I'll tell you all about Rajaya as our uh, most inspirational senior. And our spotlights today. First, congratulations to Wendy Lira, her accomplishment, getting student of the month. Her favorite memory were the pep rallies. Her plans after high school are to attend COD, and her staff shout outs are to Ms. Reese and Ms. Villanueva. And our second spotlight, Ms. Charisma Cuevas. Her accomplishment is getting into her dream school. Her favorite memory is every single time she danced with the dance team. Her plans after high school are to attend UC Berkeley and major in math, and she wants to join the dance team there as well. Her staff shout outs are to Mr. Bowman, Mr. Jackson, Mr. Leanhard, Mr. Garcia, her two dance coaches, Mrs. E and Ms. G, and all the teachers who helped to motivate and push her through the past four years. She says, I am forever grateful. Remember your slide. You've already picked up your caps and gowns. You did have until yesterday, but now you have till Thursday morning to get those in. And then I have to push the button before noon and make sure you're in your cap and gown. It needs to be zipped up and on looking professional. The only thing you can wear are the gold tassel if you got A through G or your red and blue tassel and the stoles and cords that we gave for school. Other things that you bought to decorate to wear other uh, things, those are not to be in the slide. This is a very distinguished moment. So we wanna make sure you're a part of that. And our salute today is to Youth Town Hall. Youth Town Hall happens every year and every year on the announcements, we invite you to sign up for four different events. The Indian Wells Town Hall has a special function where they invite 150 students from all the high schools across the valley to come and be a part of their town hall series. The town hall series invites special guest speakers, very famous people, people from politics, from education, from science. Um, we had an astronaut last year that was a part of this. We've had sports figures. We've had every imaginable area that you can uh, think of and imagine, that's who they have brought in as guest speakers to our valley and we have an opportunity to take 10 students every year to be a part of that town hall series. They have dinner and get to hear those speakers and every year we have the opportunity for somebody to apply to be a youth town hall ambassador where you can be one of 10 special students chosen that helps they get to meet those speakers, they help run the event, um, and of course, you can see Mia Puga here is doing that very thing. So we want to encourage you to be a part next year of Youth Town Hall and listen for those announcements. There's some great and inspiring speakers that come to our valley. And now for two jokes about motivational speakers. These are fun. Okay, so the first one that you sent in, a motivational speaker gave blood. What was his blood type? Be positive. And... What did the motivational speaking dolphin believe? That everyone in life has a porpoise. Good job. And our, with that, our final thoughts for the day, never let the fear of striking out stop you from playing the game. It's always worth giving your best investment. And last but not least, you rock. I believe in every one of you. Do your best today. Tune into your classes. Don't give up. Stay motivated. Finish strong. And with that, have a great day, and I'll see all of you tomorrow.